hello everyone. So I will be explaining to you about composite propeller construction. Okay, traditionally they were using aluminium alloy as a uh, aircraft propellers. Uh, composite propellers are repairable. It's considered vibration damping, which means in a high vibration compared to aluminium alloys, composite propellers they can withstand high vibration. Okay, during cruising or even take off. Okay, it's considered repairable. Okay, not like aluminium alloys, which uh, is hard to be repaired. They have to replace the whole set. But in the composite, they can repair the propeller. Composite propellers are also damage tolerance. Okay, yeah, it's even though it's damaged, it still can be used and it's uh, flexible. Composite blade constructions involve the use of various plastic resins. Reinforcement fibers of uh, filaments composite of glass, okay, carbon, kevlar or, or borons. Okay, the resin matrix may be epoxy or polyester or even uh, poly made or uh, even glass fibers. With glass epoxy fiber resin. with epoxy resins was used extensively yeah, for many years to ma manufacture a wide various of lightweight high strength blades developed lately and has proved to be strong and more durable than glass fiber composites. The main manufacturer of composite propellers are three. One, the first one is Hamilton Standard and Hartzell and the last one is Doughty. And the blade design may be varied among them but the similar results are achieved. I'm going to explain to you about the Blade Master Station now. A Blade Master Station is a reference point on a blade that is specified distance from the center of the hub. A Master Station is located at approximately 0.7 length of the blade uh, from the hub center line. Okay. Hello again. Okay. So this is the center line of the propeller. Okay. The hub is inside the propeller. Okay, this is what what you can see here. Uh, two parts of the propeller. So this is the left uh, from the uh, from the cockpit. Okay, this will be the left part of the propeller. This will be the right part of the propeller from that position. Okay, so let's talk about just one part of the propeller. Okay, the master station is located approximately 0 0.7 0 0.7 of the length. Uh, from the hub, okay, center line. So, which means the length is from here, okay, center line to here, okay. It's approximately 7, 0 0.7, okay, in length. The propeller, okay, this one part is divided into nine parts, okay. The first part will be from the center line, uh, 7 inch, okay, then it goes up to 12, and then 18, and then 24, and then 18, and then 36, and then 42, okay, so which means one side of the propeller, okay, one whole side, it's considered 100%, okay, let's say, let's, let's say, uh, this part is damaged, so it will be about from the center line, okay, 75% is okay, another 25% is damaged, so uh, let's say 50%, okay, from the center line, 50% will be here, okay, that's how they uh, measure or calculate for maintenance and manufacturing also. Hi guys, we meet again. Okay, now I will explain to you about pitch. What is meant by pitch? Pitch is a distance of a propeller will move forward in one revolution. Okay, what is meant by revolution? Okay, one revolution is a one complete cycle of a propeller. Okay, as you can see here, the propeller will move complete uh, three, uh, 360 degree and it will complete in one revolution. Okay. That's it.